Hi, this is Ito Romo, and I'm reading from my unfinished novel, Filth Eaters. Half the city had been flooded for years. The rest of Manhattan, what hadn't flooded, had been secured with dikes and landfills and dams, with sea gates to hold the ocean out, with giant gel-filled rubber stoppers that kept the ocean water out of the subway lines that they'd managed to save. Some buildings had been stabilized, then retrofitted so that they could exist in the salty, corrosive Atlantic that had come faster and higher and sooner than anyone had expected. But the stench! They could do nothing about that. Sewage flowed into the rivers on either side of the city from old pipes that had cracked deep underground when the waters came. At first, workers tunneled. But time after time, the tunnels filled with water before they could ever get to the breaks, so they had stopped trying. Those who could afford it lived their lives up in the sky in a vapor-filled world that shielded them from the squalor. When they did come down into the city, they were sealed in their water limousines behind tinted bulletproof glass and lowered from their boat garages in the sky softly onto the canals. Sometimes, right place, right time, Sunlight somehow breaking through the darkness that had never left the air after the great pestilence, you'd get a glimpse of their white hands, bejeweled and holding perfumed Japanese silk over their noses.